Dugard 760E is one of the latest additions to the Dugard portfolio of machine tools. Now, in fact, the E range uh, is a fairly extensive range. You've got the 760, the 1000, the 1350, and two or three more models on from there. But the model we're talking about today is the 760. Now, this machine has 762 millimeters in the X axis. It has 410 in the Y and 460 millimeters in the Z axis. It's a compact machine. It comes equipped with either a Siemens, a Fanuc, or a Mitsubishi control. And we'll touch on the control uh, shortly because we've actually got a Siemens 828D control here. The spindle on this machine is an 11,000 RPM spindle. We've actually got coolant pipes uh, on the side of the spindle for, or for coolant wash, and we've also got an air blast uh, on the back of the machine as standard. And on the uh, on the next range of machines, the 1000, that air blast is actually programmable with an M code. On this machine, it's actually manual. You can have the machine with through spindle coolant, but this particular model here is standard, uh, comes without through spindle. From an extraction perspective, we've got an auger screw that runs at the bottom of the machine out to a cone uh, on the side, so you've got effective removal of swarm. Tool changer, it's got a 20 station side mount tool changer. Um, with, a twin, uh, with a twin arm on it, so you're loading the tool changer as at the same time as you're taking a tool out, so you've got a quick chip-to-chip -chip time. Now, Dugard introduced this range of e-machines in order to fit sort of between the, the, the 500A machine, the entry-level entry level machine in centre, and let's say, for example, the 1000Y. Um, it's been very popular so far. It's unbelievably priced in terms of its competitiveness. For less than 40K, uh, this machine can be, uh, can be installed in your machine shop. As we go on to the control, one of the things I like here about this control, it's actually got full simulation. So you can actually see the graphic here. Uh, you can run this simulation prior to the machining process in order to check that the machine paths are correct and so forth. As well as that, you can actually put a program into this machine via a USB stick. It will drip straight from the USB stick. So that would mean that you could have a program on this machine, on this USB stick, take the USB stick out and move it across to another machine and, uh, and put the USB stick in there and run the same program again. It also does have uh, cards and RS-232 ports and so forth if you wanted to drip feed the programs, but it's quite a nice little feature to be able to have the USB stick there. It's a very neat and tidy machine and as I said, Dugard's already within the last six months have sold a lot of the 760E. If you wanted to go for a bigger machine you'd go for the 1000, that would give you just over a metre in the x-axis, but for an entry level machine in centre for a subcontractor or an OEM, certainly should be considered the 760E from Dugard. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.